there, everyone. Welcome back to Kazrike. I'm your host, Mr. Serbian Lover. Right now, the defense of Belgrade. Today marks the 20th anniversary of the defense of the city of Belgrade on October 7th, 1915. austro hungarian and German forces crossed the Sava, Sava and the Belgrade rivers to engage the undermanned defenders of the city. Despite inferior numbers, equipment, and supplies, the overrun Serbian forces were not outdone and put up the best challenge to the attacking forces as they could. The high point of Serbian heroism during the battle came from the 2nd Battalion of the 10th Infantry Regiment, commanded by Major Dragutin Gavrilovic. Alongside with the Belgrade Gedarame and local volunteers, they were the first line of defense against the advancing enemy forces and marched to battle with the grim knowledge that they would fall one by one for Belgrade and for the fatherland. In a final act of defiance, Major Gravilovich gave a rousing speech where he announced to his men that their regiment had been erased from the records of the army. Hence, there is little for them to do except go forward to glory for king and country. The valiant defense of the Serbian defenders did not prove to be enough, and the White City fell, but under the orders of Field Marshal August Farmakinson, a monument was erected in the Austrian-occupied Belgrade, which sa still says, Here rest Serbian heroes, and which is the center of the procession today. Soldiers of the army salute the humble monument, and widows of the defenders of Belgrade place followers flowers before it. Some would say that their sacrifice was in vain, as Serbia was ultimately subjugated and had to spend almost two decades languishing under Austrian and Bulgarian domination. Others are more apologetic after all. Serbia has managed to rise from those ashes since, and does that not make up for it? They fought until the last dying breath in which we've been doing a couple uh, air focuses, such as they reestablished the Serbian, Serbian Aviation Command. The Treaty of Botol has banned the creation of any aerial forces for the Serbian army, forcing us to rely on secret rearmament in the form of civilian flying schools where a new generation of pilots can be trained. We f can finally abandon the secrecy and establish a mighty Serbian air fleet, restore the Valjevo airfield. The Valjevo airfield was the primary base of Serbian Aviation Commander in the Valkyrie. It needs to be restored and refurbished in order to house a new Serbian Air Force. Seek foreign contracts. Serbia's military air force is still young and needs a benefactor from which it can staff in planes, resources, and advisors. And there are several potential options in Europe we can choose from. And the Belgrade Air Arsenal. A Serbian Air Force needs not only wield a large amount of planes, but also able to repair the ones that have and produce new ones to replace losses. For that, we should establish an air arsenal in the vicinity of Belgrade. Now, try, right now, we're actually doing relatively okay. The Germans are cu crushing through... Not crushing, but later... Going through northern Romania, which is not good. Looks like the Russians have been pushed back a little bit here. But they have been pushing into the Caucasus quite a bit as well. And we've actually been doing pretty darn well pushing into uh, basically Austrian territory, which has been very good, but still. We're slowly, slowly, slowly encircling these guys. So overall, not too bad. As you can tell, the Romanians have done pretty well advancing into Transylvania. But it is what it is. And please don't let them escape. Please, please, please. Um, do that. Thank you. Three more, three Austrian divisions will be really nice. So far, we've lost about fourteen thousand. We've killed off about how many Austrians? We've killed off about one hundred twenty-three thousand. They're doing. The remainder have done a little bit more work, but that's all right. You know, things happen. Um, who's this? Morocco, the German, oh, the German Empire, huh? That doesn't look like a German Empire division, but whatever. Um, two. I was going about ready to attack there. Auslich would be really awesome to attack as well. If we possibly could get over there, that would be amazing. But you never know. I don't like fighting over through rivers, but we'll see what happens. The Communist France is still doing okay. They've taken a little bit more southern Germany as well. We're going to go shock and awe right now. I hope you guys are having a pretty good day. Especially after my little rage you ran about how I feel about the conspiracy and stuff like that and the devs. But whatever. But whatever. Oh, we did make it over. Nice. Good job, guys. Actually, we're going to go crazy. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. Let's go like that. Importing aviation expertise throughout the post Velkri Guerra. There were two power blocks we could rely on for rearmament. The Russian state, as weak as it has been left by the Treaty of Brest Litovsk, had never shied away from supporting the Serbian cause either out of the feeling of Slavic Brotherhood or because of geopolitical advantages in the West, however. The syndicalist states, especially France, has become increasingly a valuable trade partner ever since the Republican Revolution, after all. We have a common enemy, Austria and Germany, whom the syndicalists would love to see destabilized by a resurgence of Serbia. Either of these powers, if they are currently in condition to support us, can help us rebuild the Serbian Air Force, the Russians. French Syndicalist, which is not bad. Daily Eric's is pretty nice. Eighth generation chance. Grounds for the give the exact same thing, south Russians. Um, air Doctrine. Uh, convert civilian flying schools. Throughout the Republican period, we established a system of flying schools, which were given access to modern aircraft and train a new generation of pilots, when, one which we are now able to mobilize into a Serbian Air Force. Nice. Oh, we actually got over there. Look at that, huh? Go figure. They actually let us do that. Nice. If we could get, oh, right there, that'd be awesome, but I don't think we can. So just hold for now, hold for now. Um, there's one division there. We might actually do something like this, maybe, and then go over here next, perhaps. I would really like the transport. Yes, yes, oh, we must be out of artillery. Oh, God, yeah, oh, God, yeah, we are. Oh, it's so bad. Yay, good job, guys, good job. Now I want you to go in here. You're probably a little thicker. Nice. 
should be able to win, right? It's one German Empire division. is not. There's the last one holding out. And what shall we do? You gonna hold there? Can do that. There you go. Nice. Defeated. Ah, there you go. Three more divisions encircled. That's exactly what we want to see. Ooh, and this is why I attacked over here too to make sure that we can hold out there as well. Ah, oh, they want to break out, huh? They so desperately want to break out. But nah. 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 Not today. Good. Keep holding out there, guys. You're doing a great job. Great, great job. And we've killed a few more divisions. Beautiful. They're still holding here. They're still pushing down through here a little bit more, perhaps. Yeah, it seems kind of stable, but... Oh, they've reached the French the French lines. So SRI's not looking too good, though. That's okay right now. All right, so let, let's let our guys get settled first. I would like to attack this way, perhaps, if possible. Yeah, I definitely want to attack here and get to Rizhika. Rizhika? I don't know. We'll see what happens. So there you go. Let's go there. See what you can do. See what you can muster up. Eberhard von Mackensen is not going to do well, hopefully. The Austrian divisions are quite weaker. Quite a bit weaker. Which is nice to see, which I love, 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 love. And we're in there. Good, good, good. Three divisions that one go over that direction. And we're going to destroy another Austrian division. Spread out their lines just a wee bit more. Nobody saw would be nice. We cannot compete against those heavy tanks, though. I do not want to fight over the river that direction. We might be able to push this way, though. Uh, we really need to think about encircling, though. Hmm. And are we there? Oh, it's a grab. It's very close. Not bad. Let them waste themselves on the line. It shouldn't be that long, honestly. There you go. Let's do that. You'll be fine. And they're gone. Beautiful. Oh, we actually have a dockyard. Uh, convoys, I guess. Cool. And the grab would be awesome, 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 awesome to be able to get. But we'll see. I mean, it is spreading out our line a little bit more, which I do not like, but at the same time, it's still not bad. We can make a punch over to here or here. We need more divisions, though, so we need to really punch up this way, maybe, perhaps, first. If we could get to Zagreb, that'd be quite ideal. And come down here and circle two more divisions? Yes, that's an idea. The return of the king. The foreign officer of Serbia has received a new and unexpected message from the Can Canada. It appears it comes from the heir and current claimant of the kingdom of Serbia, Petar Karadorovic. Taken from his home in Belgrade when he was merely two years old, the crown prince was tutored by the prince Pavel in Canada, where he ingratiated himself with the British nobility and lived a life of far removed from his homeland, now that he's matured, however. A patriot had called to return to his homeland and has pushed him to ask whether he has a chance to return. The crown prince has sworn that upon returning home, he will renounce his claim to the Serbian throne and live the rest of his life as a private citizen in Belgrade. In addition, he swears to avoid political affairs and will not back any monarchist organizations in Serbia, speaking to achieve his restoration even then, however. The heir's presence in Serbia would certainly mobilize loyal or local royalist agitators. So is it worth to grant Petar the right to return? Sure. What is a republic if not forgiving? Let's go in immediately. This is I'm a little worried about Zagreb, but we'll see. Good. I want you guys to get over here. Oh uh, well. You really need to get over there first and quickly. Crap. We lost it. Hopefully not for long, though. We're taking it back, baby. <coughs> Followed up with the promote local designs. Thanks to having more access to foreign expertise of innovations, our aircraft producers have begun to drop their own designs, pushing Serbia further into the path of self-reliance. It's a very, very, very good idea. Very. Very good idea. Yeah, they're definitely winning down here, which is good. So I'll have extra divisions to throw this way. They're pretty much at a standstill here-ish. Afghanistan. Oh, Russia's fighting Afghanistan too, huh? Go figure. If that's the case. These guys are still not... Well, these guys are 40 combat with. These mountaineers, though... Hmm. We're running out of guns. Stop trying to improve the guns that we have currently. Oh, good guy. We need a lot more uh, stuff here. Which is honestly not bad, actually. Get two. And we trade it away for one more steel. That'll be good. That'll be good. Montevideo, huh? Alright. Oh, 
How much manpower left does the, do the Austrians have? Not that much, honestly. Russia should have quite a bit. Germany has quite a bit. France has quite a bit. So... Yeah. Hmm. I'd love to be able to break over there, but as you can tell, we're probably not going to be able to. Uh, pushing these guys out this way would be nice. National Lottery is gone, which is unfortunate, which is really beneficial for us. Hmm. Oh, uh, how are we going to do this? I mean, we could push them out, I suppose. It does save us quite a bit of uh, land to cover, so. There you go, nice. <laughs> Not bad. It does give us a little bit better area for defense. Get some more output right now, too. Um, why don't we just keep going north for now? Good. Nice. Coming to Pex, maybe. Spread out a little bit more. Come attack here. Attack, attack there, perhaps. Keep weakening their, uh, you know, soldiers and stuff. Yeah, why not? Go that way. Go to Pex and circle to destroy these divisions. Nice. There you go. Should be able to get that one. And just keep driving that way. Might as well, right? Not attacking us anywhere else. You guys got this. Go, go, go. Nice. Get another, get another, get another. Ah, three more divisions in circle. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Rebuild on the air fleet. Aiming to rebuild the air fleet from scratch, we once again turn towards our foreign contractors. The mass produced Russian Air Force has enough old fighter planes to go around and build an entirely new Air Force with, whereas our comrades in the West are less endowed in that regard. On the other hand, the French Air Command is willing to cooperate with the Serbian manufacturers on production of local French influenced fighter designs. Tap the Russians. Ooh, bonus. For, ooh, fighter models, though. Yeah, I'm going to go with the fighter models for that one. Attack aircraft acquisition. It's more than just patrol and scout planes we need for our Air Force. We must be able to attack back and. Attack back at any aggressor. Bombers and fighter bombers will have to be our priority, and for that, we'll have to consider our benefactor and what they can provide. Nice. Slowly but surely, we are slowly doing well here. The Romanian just keeps constantly getting attacked by the Austrians. So they actually have a bigger problem than us. With them, but this is a perfect opportunity to strike right now. That's how weak they became. Nice. Going to. Fight over that river. There you go. There you go. That's better. Beat over that German division. Come on, come on. Ooh, was France losing here a little bit more, maybe? They might be, actually. They're just Germans. They're not gods. Oh, any other upgrades? No. No, no. All right. Well, whatever. Swing that way. Break over there again. Circle a couple more divisions. That'd be great. Oh crap! That's not good. Get over there, and then now we're fighting Spain as well. Great. These divisions move first, maybe. Give us some time. Let these divisions get out of the way. I want to send two of these guys over. Can we actually win here? That'd be great if we could. Some of the horses, too. If we could, I totally would. Oh, the Romanians are helping us now, which is very, very important for us. All right, since joins are international. All right. Come on, come on. You got this, you got this. Friends, boom. Actually, since we're here. Follow Chicago. All right. Actually, since we're here. Something like that, maybe. Help us uproot a little bit more entrenchment, which is very, very good to see in here. Uh, going to need a few more guns, too, which is going to be unfortunate. But if we can do this. We can circle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven divisions. We're probably more like six. Because these guys are getting tired out, which sucks. Getting all tuckered out, man. Oh, some Russian divisions arrived. Nice. Yeah, now it's down to 75. God dang it. Come on, guys. Those horses are getting the crap bean out of them. Nice. Yeah, these Austrian divisions aren't super the great. Super the great? Super great? Nice. 
Keep beating the crap out of him. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get more military factories too. We're 90, come on. Yeah, we don't need really any force attack. I don't think we should be able to get it. There we go. We got it. Nice. Yes. So now we have one, two, three. We have six divisions here, including a heavy tank division. Nice. Give us some time. They're not starving yet because they do have a lot of extra stuff there, like extra supplies, but it's all right. They'll start starving even more in a little bit, but local area of dominance doctrine. Further studies are to be conducted if Serbia's a matter to be mas to master the skies. Never again shall the enemy completely dominate our airspace. Yeah, they're getting pushed back a little bit. That is not ideal. Oh, only one down here for the most part. Nice. Oh, hello. Oh, you guys are attacking? Well, you must have attacked them. This one I'm not worried about. This one I'm a little more worried about. Force. Upper department. Nice. There we go, guys. And those divisions should die. Yeah, we're going to raise the conscription level. I don't want to do this. Yeah. Hey, Curtis. That's fine. So, yeah, we definitely expanded here quite a bit. We can't form Yugoslavia. But we're getting closer. Getting closer and closer, 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 closer. Um, boom, 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 maybe. Well, the Russians here definitely helps us out. Uh, since we have the horses, go over there too. Send both of you guys this way. Because then you can help attack here too. And circle a few more divisions. The remainings are attacking, which is good to see. Come on, you guys should be able to do this. Let's be real here. God dang it. Come on, they're just Danes. Get more weekly stability, I guess. Alright, not bad. And hopefully two more Austrian divisions will die. There you go. How many divisions does Austria have left? No manpower, that's good. They have a lot of divisions, though. Quite a few. Oh, they're dead. Awesome. Oh, the de Romania's definitely doing better now that we've eliminated some enemy divisions. Which, I mean, should be the case, regardless, but still. Oh! Uh, I don't think we deserve Afghanistan. How many clips is this going to take? Not that many. Good job, Russia. So now we have a few more divisions spare. Which is good for them. Yes, we circled maybe two more divisions, perhaps? Yes? We should easily kill them off. There you go. And two more divisions. It says we'd just be able to win if we just do a general attack, but I kind of don't believe them. Should take more artillery. Goodbye. Can we actually pierce them? Uh, somewhat-ish. Yeah, doesn't matter. They're gone. So much fire control. Let's go with forward observers. Nice. Um. Uh, fleet of fighter planes is of little use if we cannot use their air force to support the troops on the ground. Uh, thankfully, we have several options to choose from. The vast size of Russia means that Russian air fleet specializes in tactical bombers, which can make long distances, strike enemy formations hundreds of kilometers away, and return safely. The French, on the other hand, rely on smaller, faster fighter bombers. Designed to strike German forces over the border, which are superior at dogfighting, can strike enemy troops from far more accurately. I do prefer the CAS. I'll go tactical bombers out for this one. Go in, go in, go in. Nice. Oh, the Russians took that territory, huh? All right, well, whatever. Well, we're attacking Hungarian land now, which is awesome. Don't think Austria came into this war really ready. So these German divisions are thick. Pain in the butt, sort of. Nice. 
Nice. There you go. And three more divisions. Let's start going, including some German divisions, some Austrian divisions. Yeah, they're definitely beating back the French now, which sucks to see, but whatever. How are the Russians doing on their side? Um, they're doing not much better. They're pretty much the same as they have been. So. They're so not saying much. We're just very careful with how we conduct our warfare sometimes. Not our po political power, our ideology. Definitely not. There you go. And they're dead. They dead? They died. Nice. Could become a spy master. Eh, might as well, I suppose. Atomic research, nuclear Serbia, yes please. Good, good, good. Kill 300,000 of them, huh? Not enough. Where's our soldiers? So, what else do we need to form Yugoslavia? Montenegro, Savonia, Dalmatia, Stymies. Oh, well, we need to own it. <coughs> Agent captured, that sucks a lot. Alright, so where are we going to attack? I'm spying a place kind of like Ljubljana. Something like that. You might be able to win here. You should be able to win over here, though. Should. Well, we'll see. You guys suck, don't you? Yeah, you guys really do suck. Uh, what are we out of? Guns? Yeah, we're out of it. Why is no one coming over here? Some questions you'll never know the answer to. Fight these guys and beat them up. Um, get one more thing of guns. That's okay on that stuff. Uh, maybe tactical bombers, maybe? Go close economy for now. Doesn't really help us that much, but whatever. Alright. So we can break through, huh? Oh, bro, that sucks. I'm getting closer to the mountains there. Budapest would be nice to get, though. It'd be a nice little trophy to have. I think so, yeah. You're not even trying combo with. God dang, you suck. We'll get him down there eventually. Support equipment, infantry equipment. That's fine. Cool. And. Serbian Air Fleet. Our reforms have not gone without success. Our Serbian Air Fleet may not be a titan of the war in the air, but we can be safely called a master of our own skies. Nice. Hey, we got Budapest. Yay! Oh, now they attack us, huh? Very good. Popovich. Germany's removed from Legation Council and Kaiserville in second is dead. Goodbye. Any upgrades here? Yes. 10%? Why not? Um... Honestly, with the Russians here, it's really nice. And go over there. Follow Detroit. Goodbye, Detroit. Never had a chance, huh, Detroit? If you could break over, that'd be awesome. And break over there, maybe? That's a lot of divisions, though, so we'll see. Yeah, the French are slowly getting pushed back. I think the Russians are slowly pushing in, but... Just barely. Perfect to call y'all. Come here. I'm gonna hammer our way here. And then we can circle two more divisions, which would be nice. Should be able to. There's only four enemy divisions. And we got them. Look at that. Beautiful. Over and some more guys. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Nice. That should definitely that definitely helps us out there too. Go where we need to go, it's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, I don't want to cover any Romanian lands for now. Collapse of the Union. Goodbye, Union. Vito Vidon, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Alright. Crush the Germans over here, too. I think the Austrians probably have raised the conscription levels well by now. Yep, they definitely have. You guys are at 2 million. You guys are at 1 million. You guys are probably... Oh, you're on... All those, sir. Holy crap. Oh, well, Romania, I mean, it's, it's up to you if you want to attack, but... 
you don't always want to attack, right? Right. We're going to struggle there, but we should be able to win. Um, I love Jack Ljubljana, but I just don't think we'll be able to. You should be able to win there. Gyar. Nice. Good. Good. Super near fleet, and now we're locked out of pretty much all the other focuses. So there's nothing we can do until we form Yugoslavia. So my apologies about that, but. So is this a suppression, resistance suppression? I'll we'll do that. It's not great right now, but it's getting better. So. Uh, cancel the Lendlease, that's fine. Um. I'm just here to attack them and beat the crap out of them. We've taken a lot of hungry, honestly. How close are they capitulating? Because once they're gone, they're halfway. It's not enough. Uh. Here, do this. Keep beating up on them German boys. I think we both went that way. Could you actually win there, maybe? Maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Okay. Nice. And welcome back to the fold. There goes American Syndicates, too. Wow. Austrians are doing okay-ish against the Italians. Should be able to win there. Should. And against these guys. Nice. Austrian tanks kind of suck, not gonna lie. Sopron. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, the French are definitely losing a little bit. What happens if we capitulate Vienna? That'd be kind of radical. And cool. Slowly getting there. Cool, Sopron. More millies, awesome. Yeah, we're looking actually pretty good on this stuff. Is this more uh, guns props, probably? Yeah, now we need more guns. We got enough artillery, which is surprising. We need just more guns. I'm sorry that this is somewhat slow. We just gotta be methodical about this. Nice. Graz would be good with an actual Austrian city. Good, good, good. Uh, I must try that one. I see tanks, I'm, like, I'm a little worried, but I see Austrian tanks, and I'm like, oh, it's not that bad. Alright, so we lost that, because they put sent in their heavies. It's fine. Whatever. Don't care. Nitra? Slovakia? Probably not. I didn't think they would be able to. Alright, so these guys are in the way. Yeah, the Austrian divisions are not bad to beat. German divisions are much more worrying, but still. Might as well form the United States of uh, Greater Yugoslavia with Hungary. There we go. Nice. Well, they're pretty weak. Pressburg? Also try for it. Nice. So now we're catching up to 350,000 dead Austrians. Where is next? Hmm... General attack would not do us well. Six versus three, you should be able to win there. Graz, they still have the heavies in there, which sucks. Good, Ljubljana. Can we just push straight for Trieste? That would be awesome if we could. So, some of the divisions didn't. One of the divisions started attacking, the other one could not. I don't understand. <coughs> yeah, Austrian AI is not great. But we can destroy six, seven divisions, that'd be awesome. Come on, keep going, keep going. Construction five is nice. Get some extraction finally. 
Good. Surprised they're not really attacking our line too much. They've been attacking the Romanians way more than us. Whatever. Nice. Uh, three divisions. We want to make Vienna a frontline city if we possibly can. Single line production. Get up some more extraction there too. Yep, now you are winning, which is good to see. Wait, do we lose here? How do we lose? Yeah, no, you're gonna have to go in and win. We need these divisions dead now. I don't care what it takes. Come on, come on. There are only Austrians in there. And a few Germans. Come on, come on, my god! What the hell is going on here? Jesus Christ, I don't like playing Serbia, I'll be honest. Yeah, Germany, what's going on? How are you getting this much more strength back? <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry, I just... I'm trying as best as we possibly can, but there's not much we can really do. Keep pushing in some way, somehow. How many men have we lost? Honestly, not that many. Russia is slowly pushing in. Slow oh, they're definitely pushing in. A little slow, but they're still pushing in. Board observers. Help us out slightly. Let these guys move around real quick. Uh, you guys have already moved around. We're going to attack there next. These mountains will be good to defend into. Defend with. Uh, go right there. We want to circle get as close as we can and have many opportunities to attack uh, Vienna as much as possible. Election 41, according to the Constitution, elections in Skupsina are to be held every five years. The term of the current assemblies is expired and the town has come to elect a new one. We shall select a new president and cabinet of ministers to govern the country for the next five years. While there are numerous parties beginning their campaigns, only two stand a chance of gaining enough seats to form a new government, which one shall prevail. The Republicans form a left-wing popular front again. People's Radical Party? Uh, let's try something different. President Vlasic's last speech. Having served for two entire terms, Dragomir Vlasic has been the head of the state of the Serbian Republic for much of his existence. His political thought and policy defining the nation's path since the Republican Revolution, the two term limit has finally caught up to him, however. And upon the conclusion of this year's election, the outgoing president has made his way before the newly elected Skupstina to give one last speech to the parliamentarians. The president's speech could be divided into two parts in the first. He congratulated his fellow Serbs for the dedication to the values of the Republic and the sacrifices that they made in war and peace alike. It was a difficult task to lead Serbia when he was a personal experience of horrors of war and knew that what what he would resign his fellow Serbs to after this recognition came a warning, however. The Balkans and all of Europe remain infested with tyrants, absolutist cynicals, and extreme nationals continue to oppress their own people and will surely seek to put out the light of liberty in Serbia. And the years that followed to counter that, Vasic gave Serbia his advice to stand the guard no matter how overwhelming the obstacles may be and find a coalition of like minded nations with whom they can pr may protect democracy together. As this is the first Serbian revolution led by Karadorid has proven, the Serbian people value the freedom above all else, and Vasic expressed hope that they will continue to do so for centuries to come. It's believed that after leaving office, the president will return to literacy, or literary and educational work. He was a prolific writer before, and the Academy of Fine Arts in Belgrade has already expressed interest in giving him a position in the professor ranks. So long, Chishisha Dragisya? I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, but... Yeah. Oh, the Grand Union. Great Union. For a decade, the urban at leftists of the Republicans and socialists have left Serbia, but they cannot remain there forever. And at last, we and the Hungarians have returned to norm normalcy, and we have a lot of work to do. Alright, well, I'll try. Why not? Might as well. Nice. Not a lot of divisions. Take out southern Vienna, basically. Just south of Vienna. Uh, a lot of good areas to attack here, I'd say. Yeah, the French are definitely getting screwed now. Go right here. There's only Austrians right there. You'll be fine. Oh! Well, maybe you can't do it now. Trieste. God, I want to take Vienna so badly. Push north of Vienna. The Great Union integrate monarchist parties? Might as well. Despite the heavy the victory of the Serbian Revolution, monarchists remain in the Skupstina, huddled up in minor Democratic State Party and Budinja Party, however. The cells and season will likely be able to work with us. Nice.
If we can cut off Vienna, that would be amazing. Which means all Austrian soldiers lose a lot of supplies, and that's fine with us. Yes, yes, yes. Can you go right here, actually? And can you make it to Trieste? Oh, maybe not. Oh, no. There's a lot of division in there. Holy crap. Well, Austrian soldiers, you gotta make a choice. That's a lot of dudes. Holy crap. Master guys a little bit first from Yugoslavia. Great Union. Nice. And expand farm to city connections. A lot of production efficiency in the countryside are lost because of lacking connections between villages and major cities. With wide scale public works for expanding the road network and repairing the poor, most poorly maintained ones, much of this efficiency can be regained. So. Hello. When did you come out? So even if though we have the capital, it means nothing. Okay, that's great. Good to know. Good to know. Hmm, it's not good down there. Come on, Russia, do a little more. I don't think you could do anything there. Let those divisions move. Karaz, we still can't take. How are they able to continue to pop out? Because we uh, probably have no divisions around there, that's why. Go on and crush them if you can. Oh, SRI is gone, that's not good. Can you actually guys go here? Yeah, you can, that'd be nice. Oh, there goes those guys. Yeah, that's what I thought. Start of the third Boer War, nice. Good to have a lot of Boer Wars, right? Yeah, there's really not much we can do about this. Oh, they're actually attacking us. Oh, look at that, huh? Well, yeah, there's no point. You might as well attack Vienna and see what you can do. Crush Vienna. Which you should be able to do. We'll see what happens. So that mine. You guys come over here too. Take the air base, fall off Cape Town. Should be able to take that tile. Uh, with one division. Integrate Monica's parties. Expand these guys. Can we do anything about this? Further agricultural mechanization? Has completed the focus down here. Alright, well, it does not have farming subsidies. That sucks. So we can't do this one. If you're worried about this one, please go ahead. So we can't do that one. Great. Just heartwarming. Absolutely heartwarming. God, so two divisions out. Why is this thing always on? Probing attack. If I don't want a probing attack. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get that one get that one too. Still need a little more steel, whatever. It's always it's always like that. Um And we have Vienna. Which is great, but it's not gonna do anything for us, which is stupid. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do the rest of this off screen just because this is taking forever and it's I've already spent enough time and your attention doing normal stuff like this. So I'll see you when we're about to win the war. Alright everyone, so now here we're at, and as you can tell, this is definitely not where we left off, but Serbia's done really, really well. Legionnaire, Italy's done well. The Italian Empire is formed under two Sicilies, Mr. Fernando? Ferdinando the uh, third. Yeah, and, over, and the one thing that helped out France that they were losing earlier is that they actually capitulated Spain and did help with the Union of Britain and Navy invaded them, as you can see. Um, and the casualties, we've lost 132,000. About 16 million Reichsback members have died, which we've been doing pretty darn well, to be honest here. Oh, there goes Poland. We killed off 622,000 Germans. We've not even lost a f about lost about a fifth of that in total. Um, Riga, Lithuania, of course, Belarusians. We killed off 60,000 of them as well. We did really, really well, being very particular about how we capitulate people. We've got all 600,000 Austrians and their and their ilk. So overall, like we've done casualty-wise, like we've done really, really well, and we're almost at the Baltic Sea. So, uh, yeah, we're doing really well. As we're trying to get more stuff here too, so. and we just get more, more and more factories. Of making more of an air base, or air, you know, air fleet, air force, 
your base, of course. There goes Flanders. So yeah, overall not too bad. I, I don't really want to continue this campaign after we win here. Holy crap, this is this destructive. But yeah, but yeah, not bad. Overall, not too bad. It is 43, January 43, but oh well. I do have a cup of coffee here to keep it nice and warm as well. Uh, half drunk, but whatever. My goodness, that's a lot of divisions in here. Holy cow. That's a lot of dudes. I don't even want to count. That's at least 25 divisions, though. Probably-ish. Ah, we made it to the Baltic. Beautiful. Yeah, we've not lost that many. Russia's lost quite a few guys, though. France has lost quite a few guys. 1.6 million. There goes Berlin. And the Germans are going to give up soon-ish. Especially, the Russians are a little disappointed. I mean, I thought they would be able to push a little bit harder into here, but they capitulated the Ukraine eventually. But as you can tell, it wasn't enough. So, now oh, we're all the way sort of ish over here. If we get Königsberg, maybe a Frankfurt on mine. Well, Frankfurt is already gone. Oh, Essen. Not bad. Yeah, our population is not bad either. Political power, not bad. Yeah, we're just going to be kind of hanging out. It does help that we get, we did make some radar. So, We'll see what happens. The fall of Xinjiang? Well, not really concerned about that. We'll take we'll definitely take a lot in this piece though, just because I think we deserve a lot. 13%, eh, we'll see. We'll definitely see about that. Five divisions left in uh, Danzig. Not bad. Uh Königsberg will fall. What's that else over here? Uh do that as well. I did make a guess 40 combo, like Mountaineers, Cavalry, and infantry was already 40 combo with, but whatever. So overall not bad. Yeah, not bad overall. Let's take a look here. Germany, what do you have? A lot, some, not a lot of manpower left, considering what they had earlier. They ran out of infantry equipment, they kept attacking us, so... Why not? Why not? Anything else over here? No, Yugoslavia. And agent was captured. Unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. But I have a good feeling that the enemy is going to die before too long, and we'll be fine. Ah, <sighs> Danzig. Thank you! Just what we wanted. Can we get up to 700,000? Yep, 700,000 Germans have died to our hands. We have not even lost 200,000. So I would say that's definitely muy bueno. Yeah, you gotta take a lot of German territory for the German Empire to capitulate. Look at all this. I mean, that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, there goes the Reichsback. The Kaiserreich is about to fall. Very good. And it's gonna lag super hard. But yeah, overall, like, this war's not bad. I mean, if we didn't have to use cheats and get political power from last time... Oops, I apologize about that. Would've been a lot better, but whatever. So where's peace deal? I want my territory. I want my rightfully earned territory. We'll go Romania, probably a lot of Austria-Hungary, but... Alright, let's go look here. Russia. Forget about that. Don't think anyone has really claims on that, no. Stanislaw? Hmm. Give Poland to Romania. Just because I want them to get something out of this, too. Go back down here. You get nothing else? Yeah, nothing else, really. Where's France? You and your Britain's flag, I'm sorry, just ugly. Uh, you can have this group. Nah, I'll give that to France. You can have the Dutchies Indies. And the Kingdom of Spain, because they really did a lot for that group. Uh, France gets low countries. And I'm totally not going to take all of Austria for ourselves. There you go. So now we should be able to do the fate of Austria form Yugoslavia. As we have successfully formed Yugoslavia and unified the South Slavs, we have unlocked a new focus tree branch as well as a new set of mechanics which will define gameplay from here on out. Formed of numerous conflicting nationalities, Yugoslavia inevitably has to juggle all of the interests and to appease as many people as possible to maintain order. Or else fall to disarray. How many this may be achieved and what actions you shall be required to do so as you lead the South Slavs into a new era of history is explained in the decisions tab. Take a look. Honestly, at this point, I don't care at this point just because of how the devs have decided to make Yugoslavia a pain in the butt. So, I don't care. The Yugosphere, uh, the fate of the conspiracy, our friends in the military have had to play a role in Serbian politics for years. Whether we are allies or enemies, we have to understand their importance and that their leaders should not vanish anywhere once Yugoslavia is founded. Whether we have managed to curtail their venomous ideology or whether we will be merely a puppet of their desires will depend on the actions we have taken up until now. Fall of Minsk. Uh, if you want to read about this, please go ahead. Based on 90 day rounds. Uh, 210 cap political capital gain each, eight each turn. Serbian patronage. 
Slovenes, 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. What is this group? Bosniaks, the Croats, uh, of course, Serbs, and other Yugoslavs. Um, Croats, probably. Uh, I'll do one in each. We still have four left. Oh, there's the German Empire. A bit of Maltianism is gone. Um, I already took our fill of stuff anyway, so give part of this to these guys. Give the rest to Russia. Just pretty normal stuff here. And there you go, something like that. I don't want to deal with them. I really don't. They have Austria. Second son of Japanese war. All right. Uh, gotta start quarrying some of the stuff, I suppose, too. We'll see. See what happens. A lot of lag, but that's because the German states are being released. A lot of big old German states. The fate of the conspiracy. Contacts which we have in the military revealed to us that the conspiracy secret society has dissolved. Its leading commanders, such as Dusan Simovich, the Nedjek brothers, and Borovolj Mirakovich, have part of their ways, considering their primary goal to be complete. The same news that more openly came from the Serbian Culture Club, this nonpartisan intellectual organization, has declared the changing of the primary objectives, now seeking to campaign for the interests of the Serbs within the United Yugoslavia. It's not to say that their legacy will be gone. The efforts of the Serbian Republican period, marked by cooperation in the conflict with the Serbian military, will linger on for a time, and the strength of the conspiracy upon the foundation of Yugoslavia will determine the impact. Not a good page of our history. Oh. Oh, crap. Are you gonna, the crowd's going to have it all. I don't care. At this point. I mean, what? how the devs basically treated us with this stuff, I don't I don't care anymore. I really don't. Um, honestly, I'd rather just get through all this stuff. I just don't care. The War of the Piedmont of Yugoslavs. The Serbs have shed more blood and sweat for the Yugoslav dream than any other nation in Yugoslavia. Therefore, as the unifiers of the Yugoslavs, we serve deserve a natural leading role in the state. All the power in Yugoslavia will be concentrated in the Serbian hands. All right. Now we got one more political thing. Fall of Cairo. Yeah, cancel non aggression pack. Yeah, no one attack us, please. I don't want to deal with them right now. The pooch. And although the Yugoslav state is fresh and early resentment with the new state of affairs begins to build up, or rather, the search for. Uh, look at that. An opportunity to accomplish plans sought for many years. The only real ideology of the conspiracy secret society is Serbian supremism, and the idealistic goals of Yugoslavism and the union of the South Slavs have little place within it. The sole Serbian culture club has been drafting ideals of a greater Serbian stead. One which should be formed after the collapse of the Austrian Empire and include all territories inhabited by the Serbs or territories said to be inhabited by Serbs, and perhaps a little bit more. Thankfully, within the last few decades, the Serbian army has gained complete control of the government, eliminating the last barrier between this goal and reality. Within a week after the proclamation of Yugoslavia, a silent coup seized control of the state, overthrew the democratically elected government, and reverted the proclamation. Milan Nedic, the elder of the powerful Nedic, has come up to power as the provisional president of Greater Serbia. Later, they were officially opposed to the coup and flight of the underground. Both the Republicans and radicals saw numerous members either support or tolerate the pooch. This severely shook the reputation of both the parties as the coup advances from Belgrade to consolidate the rest of the country. Their leaders such as Dragomir Vasic and Milan Stajodinovic found themselves unable to organize a serious response, along with the Greater Serbia. Oh well. I, like I said, I don't, I don't care. I, I really don't care. Oh look, Greater Serbia. Form Yugoslavia and roll back with an army coup. Yugoslavism is a mistake. We Serbs must not only be dominant, we must rule Greater Serbia, which encompasses all Serbs in the Balkans. Such a state is not a Yugoslavia at all, but rather a Serbian hegemony over the South Slavs and minorities. Will this be Serbia's path? Montenegrin opium farms? If you wonder about that, please go ahead. Oh, hello. Uh, let's give this to the Russians. And nationalize Sardit? Owned by Austrian state railway company STEG or Sartid. Or the Serbian mining and smelting industrial company is the main Ferris, a uh, metallurgy company in Serbia, responsible for mining, smelting, and infrastructure related to the process. Most importantly, railroads, and that we. Uh, now that we are free from Austrian watch, the company needs to fall into Serbian hands. Oh. Do I have to do this? I don't want to do this. This is stupid. I don't want to do this. I hate this. Chaos in the North. After the defeat of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, numerous soldiers and officers of the Imperial Arms refused to switch sides to Yugoslavia. Either they were loyal to the regime in Vienna and now express this loyalty by separate mutinies, uh, sympathies, or they believed the Serbs would never give as much autonomy as the Kingdom of Illyria granted to the Slovene, Croatian, and Bosniak nations. 
The coup in Belgrade is massively emboldened in these remnants, who now organize into mass resistance pockets and seize town after town in the chaos. The Serbian army reports that control has been lost over much of the former Illyrium, and more importantly, the Pachani Pricha communities in Croatia and Bosnia are being threatened. This has pushed the Nedic Pucic government to begin a full force military operation against the Croatian, Slovene, and Bosniak uprisings. These traitors shall be crushed. Oh, hello. Hmm. Yeah, sure, we'll join the Moscow Accord. Why not? Send in the army. Fate of Austria. Ah, oh, Austria. Austria has been forced to capitulate. Our troops are patrolling the streets of Vienna to prevent a rebellion or anything that could cause further instability. However, some propose that creating a local Austrian government would be more helpful. Nope. Russian states accept the lines. It appears that our attempts to join the Moscow Accord is born fruit. Today, diplomats from the Russian state uh, met with our officials, formally accepting our request to rejoin the cultural brothers in the future conflicts against the hegemon of Europe. In the coming days, a formal, freedom, a formal territory will be signed between Serbia and Russian state, solidifying and reinforcing diplomatic bonds. I bet we join them again. I don't do probing attacks, I don't like that one. The ASOS, the FBI's next scoop, Sina, who vehemently opposed the pooch and managed to escape uh, house arrest, made their way to the south of the country. Where Montenegro later formed into a show of a parliament. Most of the deputies were socialist workers, socialist and left wing Republicans, who had one of the most reason to fear the new conspiracy regime and thus resisted. Though there were some battalions and reservists which swayed to their side, the exiled Skupstina initially appeared toothless until it began forging alliances with the militant Yugoslav left. Former Pelagicevci, uh, guerrillas led by Vakustin Makarovic, rose up after one another and they were followed by Montenegrin, Macedonian, Albanian separatists, allowing this movement to consolidate a semi strong grip over the south of the country. In Setenja, it declared the formation of the Anti Reactionary Assembly for the Liberation of Serbia and it effectively transformed into a third international line revolutionary organization. Well, how great. I don't care. Go straight on in and kill every last one of them off. I'll be honest, like, after everything that has happened here in this campaign with the devs wanting to go their own way and do their own stuff, not interested. I'm sorry. I'm just so sorry. I, I don't care. I mean, I want to go National Populist. If you tease that we can go National Populist, and we can't go National Populist in the end, then I, what am I to do? What am I to do? They claim Trias with the resurgence of neurodentism since reuniting the country. The Italian Empire has laid claim to the uh, city-state of Trias. Currently held by Serbia. Our citizens of the region are understandably upset about this, as we take all the states here we possibly can. Uh, and they're alarmed, although native Italians have already started preparing protesting the streets and demanding that they be reunited with the motherland. They dare? Don't care. We'll treat them like the way, same way we treated Bulgarians. I'm gonna burn every last one of them. Just do not care. Oh, there goes Georgia. Goodbye, Georgia. Cut and kill them off. Uh, no, we're good for now. Oh, who's who's going off Lisbon? Oh, Galicia. Collapse of the Portuguese Empire, not bad. A lot of green over in Georgia, which is pretty nice to see. Uh, get some more anti tank as you can. There goes the Bosnians. Goodbye, Bosnians. Didn't deserve life. Fall of Algiers. I guess we'll do this one next because we can. Go on in and kill them all off. Wow. Sweden. Why are we fighting Sweden? Serbian Socialist Republic needs to die. And they will die. I guarantee you. Thank you, Croatia. Oh, come on. After spending two hours with this, it's still not done. Like, seriously, like, just, I don't know. It just is what it is, I guess. Sorry for being so negative, but just like, seriously, after all this, and then we got to deal with this crap too. If it says we can go national populist in the beginning, and then you can't go national populist in the end, then don't lie to me. Do not lie. I hate, I hate it when people lie. Come on, kill them all off. Nice. 
And it's finally over. Thank God it's over. Oh, come up here. You never know when the Italians might be doing some funky stuff. So... Then what? Okay, the tree ass. If you want to read that, please go right ahead. Nope. Bit of hungry? Nope. Suit to roll? Nope. And the fate of Bohemia? Nope. They're all ours for now. Um, autocracy. Might as well try that. Do we still have the conspiracy here? Is it still hurting us? Are we still a puppet state? Really, you can still have secret society. Doesn't really look like it. We can lower this too. Maybe we'll see. Um, what's over here? Oh, they're in the Entente. Chastion? Nope. And nope. Moscow Court do be looking pretty nice, though, so... Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll wait and see what happens. So we have Prussia here. Oh, my goodness. The Republic of Poland, and Prussia is East Prussia, but not the rest of Prussia. Evan Müller. At least we have the German Socialist Republic, which is pretty nice, under Peak. I've never seen that same Peak before. Who are you fighting? No, we're okay. Why are we still fighting Sweden? Can you please just hurry up and kill them off, please? That would be great. After this focus, I don't know. I, there's nothing else here, so... We might just call it a camp. Pain, maybe? We'll see. I don't know. Let me go and double check. One All thing right, everyone. So, right now, let's go ahead and just use cons commands here. And we're doing promote economic structuralism, which we're just going to get rid of immediately. Um, the Nisic region in Montenegro is rich in bauxite and other minerals. It has potential for hydroelectric power and is strategically distant from our likely enemies in Bulgaria. We must order the state-controlled SATA to heighten investment in the region and so tap into its potential. Promote economic structuralism. To modernize and industrialize Siberia, Siberia, Serbia, Milan Stojadinovich promotes a theory of economic structuralism and calls for the state to promote industry or reliance on materials produced domestically, and the need for the state to have control of monetary resources in order to direct, redirect it to industries which need them. If you're wondering about this one again, please go ahead. From a state railroad directorate. Currently, our various railways are controlled by three different competing organizations, which makes investment and expansion an arduous process to streamline this. We will centralize the directorates into the Serbian State Railway Directorate. State sponsored re construction works. To industrialize the country and do so fast, the state needs to direct money and resources towards construction projects, which are critical to the economy of the state and so need to be finished quickly. Let's create a system of these works and help the Serbian's economy grow. Open up the Turka hydroelectric plant. The Dentenja River near Utsja has been used for production of electric power since the turn of the century and its industrialization continues. We need more electricity than ever. Let's commission a new larger hydroelectric plant on the river named Turka. Overall narrow gauge railways. Because of Serbia's geography, the nation has had many lines using narrow gauge to limit expenses and traverse rough terrain with more ease. However, these lines have been seen better days and were often built under lower standards and could use a general overhaul to improve the capacity and quality. Expand the boar mines. Now that we've seized them from the clouds of the Bulgarians, the mines and boar could be expanded further with some increased government support. It also helps extract more resources in eastern Serbia and increase our economic independence. Found FOMU. The weapons and munitions factory in Utsas. Our FOMU is one of the Serbia's most important producers of military equipment and, of course, munitions. All will be needed in a future war as a storm brews over the Balkan region. Restore Parasin. A textile industry. The town of Parasin was one of the main industrial centers of pre uh, uh Serbia. Owing its to its strategic location on the region's crossroads, built up a strong wool making and textile industry. Under Bulgarian rule, it became a backwater and its industry decayed, but having returned to Serbian fold, it can finally be restored. Education reform. Once again, we are reunited, able to pay more attention to reforms we were unable to pass before, such as reforming the poor and underfunded Serbian education system, raising a new generation of leaders and scientists, and refashioning Skopje. The capital of southern Serbia, Skopje, needs to be modernized and turned into an apples of Serbia. Serbia. Mosques shall be replaced by officer clubs. The city expanded to house new industrial zones. And monuments built to let the people know who liberated them and remind them they are Serbs. And since it's greater Serbia, let's do uh, focus.new chakarinos. Greater Serbia. And since we already do that one anyways, the legend network, because we could, and this one too. Knife for an eye, because we can, because why not, who cares. And Stray Dog War, and that should be it. Now let's see if we have any other events. Oh, the claim Austrian electoral. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Oh no, watch out. And eventually we did end up with a fourth research slot, which is kind of nice, but at the same time, pretty useless at this point in the campaign. And I think I did read, like, from you guys, that there's no focus tree for us, Nedic, or National Populace. So, yeah, I think we were kind of screwed out of this from an early on, which I've already said my piece about um, basically all this. But hey, I think that's going to be the campaign. If you enjoyed the video, though, somehow, some way, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great.
Great. Rest of your day.